What's up, guys? How you doing? We are doing a quick video telling you how to make your Blue Stacks 5 settings for Marvel Future Revolution much better while it's in soft launch. Now, if you played the game or you want to play the game, there's a couple ways to do it. You can play it on your phone. You could also play it on your PC via an emulator. And in that emulator, you have two options. You have LD Player and you also have Blue Stacks versions. You have the 4 and you have the 5. Right now, I'm using the 5. And the 5 seems to be working well for me. At the same time, make sure you download the newest update. So to talk about the settings for Blue Stacks, one thing that's very important to note is that when you do download Marvel Future Revolution, the way to do it is to make sure that you have your first thing first as your new instance in Blue Stacks 5 being a 64-bit instance. Then once you have that completed, then you can go try and do your settings. Inside your settings for your Blue Stacks, you're going to want to do a Blue Stacks compatibility uh, for performance, uh, not performance, for graphics. And so in graphics, you're, you're going to want to do that for compatibility, not performance. Then you're going to do OpenGL. You're going to have um, everything else either on auto or for interface and ASTC textures disabled. That's what I have mine on. That's what works for me. You can, um, depending on your GPU, that's what you need to fix. You need to can adjust that yourself. Your display, what I have on to make sure the game runs smoothly as best as possible, I have it on 1080 and I also have it on DPI 240. I do not have it on max. One thing is very important is to make sure that you do have the 64-bit Android version, but to make sure you have your DPI and things like that not on the highest so it can run probably the smoothest. And there's a lot of things that are going on in the game right now because it is soft launch. It's, you know, going on with a lot of people playing in its congested channels and whatnot. You can see some of these screens and some of the gameplay a little juddery. So make sure you want to have things adjusted correctly so you can have the best performance possible. Now, when you go into the performance settings inside of BlueStacks, I have it on four um, uh, cores in CPU, and I also have it on four memory allocations. So you probably don't want to go lower than that because the game does have a very pretty interface. So you want to make sure that you have that. Now, for frame rate, I actually have it on 60. I don't have it on anything higher that, than that right now. You can check out whatever you want to do. But um, I had it on really high at like 240 and higher. Going to be honest, it was very juddery. It wasn't smooth. And I took it down to 60, and it feels a lot better. So I definitely want to make sure you guys try that. Um, you guys can try the higher, but I definitely would like to suggest uh, through this video having just a, a better frame rate at 60 right now while the game is under that soft launch. Now, anything can change at a moment's notice, but you just know that for right now. Now, also, I do have the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra device profile, and I do have the um, BlueStacks up most updated version. So if you guys want to check that out, please do. Now, you guys can see in this game right here, um, it's very smooth as I run around. There's a lot of things that I can do. Things feel a lot easier. Now, if I'm in a different channel, things might change, but the channels also have, um, give you a little bit of an idea of what is good and what is bad for gameplay. So as you can see, changing the channel where it says 15 through 17 is smooth. Those are channels that are gonna be best for you on your ping and on your gameplay. Channel 13, congested, really bad. One through 12 are saturated, and I'm in 12 actually, which is looking to be saturated, but at the same time, it's moving really, really, really smooth with, for me inside of this game, so I definitely would like to showcase that maybe having a lower settings in this might be better. Now, inside of the game, also, you're gonna wanna check the settings as well. So you're gonna come into the settings, you're gonna go into graphics. Now, I did quick settings, I did low, which moved the graphic quality to high and the frame rate to medium. I also clicked the effect display to just me and the shadow display also to just me. 
I think this has definitely helped out my game, uh, especially for streaming and especially for playing it smoothly on BlueStacks. Now, if you also go into game, something that might help you uh, as a pro tip, rather, might be checking out some of the other players' info display taking off the alliance so so many things going on in the game so the picking up you know i want to see who's around me so that's why i have the name on for the other players info display but i did take off the alliance because if i know the people that are around me that might be not as important as the person's name for right now so something that you guys might want to check out you guys can see these settings here and you guys can check out uh, what is best for your computer, but for what I have seen for the past few days, this might be the best right now to have a smooth performing gameplay. Quick settings low, graphic quality high still, but frame rate to medium, just me on effect display and shadow display just me, and having ticking off the other player's info display on Alliance ticked off. So hopefully this helps you guys. I really 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 would like to see this game do some really cool things in the future and especially have some better servers now if we move to we can move to smooth and we can see what that feels like as i'm in a congested area now i'm actually in 12 and it's congested so it feels a little different for me i uh, let's check actually let's go to a different region and as you can see in this video it feels really smooth when i was in a different on a higher graphic it was a little higher and um, it was a little jutterier and it was a little uh, uh, no, it just wasn't as great it just wasn't as great so for this it feels a lot nicer so it's, you can feel how the game is moving right here as we speak so we're in channel 10 channel 10 is saturated here but I want to move to a smooth channel and make it as smooth as possible and I can move there and I can see what I need to do. So we're going to let this go and I hope you guys get a chance to play Marvel Rev Future Revolution. Check me out on Twitch and on YouTube, Sage Sentient, twitch.tv, Sage Sentient, and youtube.com slash Sage Sentient. So you guys can see here, very smooth, very smooth. Ping is at 217. And I'm in Los Angeles, so it's a little different. Um, so I'm not as close, but um, remember the VPN is to Canada. So it's it's not as bad for somebody that might be in UK. Might not be somebody as bad that might be in somewhere else in Europe or um, else in the United States. But this is great. But if you guys want to find me and check out more videos, please go check out, you know, yours truly. Smooth gameplay. Come find me. YouTube, Twitch, Sage Sentient. Talk to you guys later. Bye.